properties. This is the original room I created. Okay, as you can see, these are just boxes with uh, pictures. Okay. Okay, so um, let's go ahead and open Maya. While this is opening, let me show you where we are getting our images from. Uh, this website here is uh, cgtextures.com. Okay, and uh, they seem to have free textures, okay? And I believe that um, as long as you use them for, uh, as long as you don't use them commercially, I think they're fine with that. So, um, so okay, so that's what we're gonna be using our images from. Uh, let's begin by first setting up a project, okay? So I already have a folder assigned for this. It's um, my tutorial. And here is the folder I'm going to be using, okay? I'm gonna set this, okay? Um, on the polygons, we are gonna set the, the room to be just a box, okay? I'm gonna hit five to take this out of a uh, wireframe mode. On the UVs, I'm going to set this um, to be, to have an automatic map, okay? And um, under the um, UV texture editor, now you see that uh, the UVs have been nicely laid out. I'm going to select them all, and I am going to take a UV snapshot. Okay, so I call it uh, room. I'm setting this to a JPEG. Okay, I'm gonna go to images. And here's my UV layout. Okay. Now, I don't know what's what so far, so I need to go to Maya and find out. Uh, I'm gonna set this to face, and I'm gonna go under the uh, box and find out that the second box is my uh, floor. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead in Photoshop. And um, I'm going to bring in the floor. I should say the texture of the floor. Okay, and we can close this. So our second box is the floor, so... To tile this. Okay, so which uh, leaves us with the question of which one is the ceiling okay it seems to be the first one okay so let me bring in a texture to be our ceiling okay maybe we can use um, maybe this area here copy it I'll resize this Okay, so there's our ceiling. Now we just need the, the walls. So we know that everything else is uh, part of the wall, so we don't need to find out what was what in Maya, okay? So I'm just gonna cover everything else with this uh, texture. Alright. And I can probably match the color of uh, the rest of the room, okay? So everything is sort of gray, so I'm gonna desaturate this. Okay, to kind of look blend in with the rest. Okay, so um, everything looks a bit too perfect, so let's uh, do some damage here, okay? So uh, I'm gonna flatten this image here, and maybe we can paint some the, um, blood, okay, on the, uh, on the floor. Okay. It looks like blood, but it's really ketchup. Okay, so it's been a, our monster was um, spilling ketchup all over the place. 
Okay. Let me make it look a little creepy and there is ketchup on the ceiling too. Because he brought, the monster brought uh, two bottles and uh, he was having fun. He's feeling ketchup all over the place. Okay. And maybe we can throw some ketchup on the walls. Caution. Intruder approaching. Okay, so I know some people might say that this looks like blood, but really it's uh, it's, it's, it's ketchup and orange juice, uh, cranberry juice. Okay. Okay, so um, let's add some damage to the uh, uh, to the textures by just using the uh, color burn tool. Okay, so things don't look too perfect. Um, this is just a quick example. You can probably do a better job than this. I'm just sort of like showing you uh, how you can uh, texturize this a little better. Okay. Okay, so I think that's enough. That's, that should that should do. So I'm gonna save this, and um, I'm gonna save this under source images, under 3D painted uh, textures. Okay, I'm gonna return to Maya, and um, in here we are going to um, assign a material to this on the rendering. I'm gonna call this uh, room. Okay, and uh, let's bring in our texture. Okay, now right away you can't see it, all right, uh, unless that you bring in your um, you enabled uh, hardware texturing. Okay, you notice that everything is all texturized. I'm going to select face here and delete this face, so that way we can get inside our room. If um, if you hit render, quick render, um, this will give you a rough idea of what this is going to look like. So let's bring in some light. I want to bring in a point light. Caution. Okay. Let me set the um, like. If you render this now, you do notice that the light kind of like works fine. It, it looks. It looks a little better, but uh, to make it look even better, you can uh, set this to the decay to quadratic decay. And if you render, um, you notice that you can't see anything. Uh, so you need to bring up the intensity to maybe around uh, 15, so you can start seeing things. Okay, so it looks a bit more creepy. And um, I can probably bring in an ambient light. Okay. And I'm going to set this to very low. Okay. Maybe um, 0.2. Maybe that's too much. Let me set it to maybe 96. Okay. Oops. I can. Eighty-one. Okay, so that seems a bit better. Okay, um, when it's all dark, it looks a bit more creepy. Okay. Um, okay, let's set up the um, another camera so we can see uh, what we're doing. Let's set up a new camera. And uh, I'm going to select the camera. And under the camera settings, I'm going to set the um, and enable the resolution gate. Okay, this allows you to see the resolution at which you are exporting. And um, under Fusion here, uh, our game is a 900 by 480, so we need to set the resolution to that. Under my uh, rendering settings, 
okay I'm going to set this uh, to 900 by 480 okay I'm going to select the camera and maybe I can change the angle of view to maybe 85 millimeter okay all right more cinematic look okay all right um, now we need to uh, let me just turn off the lights for now uh, we need to create two doors here so I'm gonna go into uh, uh, edit mesh and I'm going to insert a couple of loops okay my first door should be around here I think and the second line for the door maybe here okay I'm gonna hit uh, W to exit that tool and I can probably delete these two sides okay let me re-enable uh, my lights again and uh, I'm going to uh, render this all right uh, this is starting to look a little better Okay, maybe the camera needs to go a little higher. Okay, not too bad. Okay. Um, remember that the two buttons need to be here. The user is going to be clicking on these two areas to open and close the doors. Uh, it seems that I have more room on this side. Okay, so probably move the camera a bit more. Okay, maybe maybe around there. 